Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix controller issues in FC24. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just launch the game. So just out of interest, if you're on this video and you're having issues with your controller, not letting you go through menus like you can see what mine is now, that's because your mouse is overriding what you're trying to do. So just simply use your mouse to navigate the menus. So that is the first controller issue fixed. And if that's the issue you're having, then you are done with this video. If that's not, then the next thing that you need to do is select settings in the top left hand corner. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is go into settings again and we now need to select customize controls. Now you're going to want to select this with your actual controller. So I'm now using my controller and going to press A on my controller and I just need to ensure that all the controls are correct. At the top here you can see classic, just simply change it through to alternate and then change it back to classic. Once you've done that, just simply go back. Also, like I said, just go through and ensure all the keys are correct. As you can see, I've just selected that one to edit it, but I don't want to. Right, so if that wasn't the problem that you're having with your controller, then the next thing that you need to do is just simply close down the game. Now, before we go any further, I just want to quickly bring up about Easy Game Utility, a program that I created. This is a great program for gamers like you and me. It has many different features that help us out so as you can see i'm on the clean tab where you can clean cache files for your graphics card and game launchers you then also have files where you can locate saved game data config files and things like that and also clear out old junk files on the pro version if you go across the network you have even more fantastic tools and then if you go to the fix tab you can use this to fix games and also on the tweaks tab i've not finished this off yet but i will be adding a load of tweaking options to help with games and things like that. But as you can see, that is only for the pro users only. If you're interested, check out the link in the description below. It's currently on offer and there's a 12 months lifetime. And if you wanna be an absolute legend, there's a supporter version where you do get to have your name in the credits of the program. Now that's enough about Easy Game Utility. The first thing that you want to do is just simply unplug your controller. And if you do have another controller, then plug that in now. Once you plugged in the other controller, now launch FC24 again and see if it was the controller that you're using that was causing the problem. Now, if it wasn't that, then also try using a different USB port on your computer and also unplug any other devices such as headsets, USBs and things like that. Also, if you have your keyboard and mouse plugged in, which you're going to, <laughs> unplug that when you're in game and just use the controller, only have that plugged in and see if that resolves the problem. The next thing that you're going to want to also do is make sure you don't have any overlays or anything like that running in the background, such as FPS counters and monitors and, you know, the messaging like Steam overlay and things like that. So go ahead and turn all of that off. Now, if that wasn't the problem, then you now need to open up the start menu and type in control panel. You need to open up control panel, change the few by to small icons, and then you're looking for devices and printers. Go ahead and select this. Now you're looking for your controller. You need to right click on it and go to properties. Once you're, nope, not properties, sorry, go on to game controller settings. Once you're in game controller settings, go on to properties. And you now need to just test and make sure you can see everything's moving. As you can see, everything's working there, which is all good. Next thing you need to do is select settings and then go reset to default. Once you've done that, launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then click on calibrate and then just run through this little settings here. Once you've ran through that again, try launching FC24. Now, if that doesn't help, then click on to advance and just ensure you've got your controller selected there and click on OK. If that doesn't solve the problem, then right click on it and go troubleshoot on the controller and see if Windows can detect any problems with your controller. As you can see, it can identify any, which is crap because my controller is working in game. But if it did find a problem, then run through those troubleshooting methods. If you're using Steam to play FC24, go ahead and open up Steam. Now, once you have Steam open, you need to find FC24 in the games list. I'm just going to use Battlebit as the example. Right click on the game and go to properties. 
The next thing you need to do is go down to controller and you then need to ensure that you have used default settings selected. But the first thing you need to do is just select something else. So disable steam input and then go use default settings. Now see if that helped. If it didn't click on controller general settings at the top here. And you then need to just go on to begin test to test your controller again. And then go on to open to open up the calibration and again run through those tests. I'm just going to close that down. Scroll down and ensure that you do also have enable Steam input for Xbox controllers toggle to on. If you already had that on, then just toggle it to off. Same as PlayStation or whatever controller you're using. So that's it, that is all we can do for Steam. Now, all you need to do now is just close this all down and if you're still having the same problem, we need to just ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your controller. So we need to open up Device Manager. To open up Device Manager, all you need to do is right click on the Start menu icon and then go to Device Manager. Next, you need to expand Xbox, as you can see at the bottom here, and then right click on the controller and go Update Driver and search automatically. Now, if you can't see the option there for Xbox because you're using PlayStation, then it, you, you should be able to find somewhere within here, PlayStation. It might even be under Universal in here. So just right click again. If you can't, then the next thing to do is head on over to the manufacturer's website. Um, so for PlayStation, you would head on over to PlayStation and download the latest driver for your controller. Xbox, again, or whatever controller gamepad you're using. With a PlayStation, you can always plug it into your PlayStation and just update the controller's firmware and stuff through your PS5 as well, if you're using a PS5 controller. So that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video. I will pop a link in the description below, um, like I said earlier on in the video, to a guide that I will do, which I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So it's definitely worth checking out that video. Um, post, I mean. If you did enjoy this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next one.